Welcome back to the next class in the Python Made Easy series. In this class, we'll talk about classes and name mangling. We'll talk about what name mangling is, how it works, and we'll work through an example. You ready? Let's go. Name mangling is a way to localize a name to the particular Python class that created it. It doesn't prevent access to it from code outside the class that created it. That is, it doesn't grant the class true privacy in the sense of the word. Its chief objective is to avoid namespace collisions in instances. Mangling only happens for names that appear inside a class statement's code. So how does name mangling work? In a class's statement, any name that begins with a double underscore but doesn't end with it will behind the scenes automatically get its class name included in front of it with a single underscore. It works in this format. So double underscore foo would be automatically changed to single underscore class one double underscore foo, where class one is the class in which object double underscore foo has been created. So it qualifies this variable, or this attribute with the double underscore with the fully qualified class name with a leading single underscore. So to ensure that the created object belongs to the class that created it, name it with the leading double underscore and use it in that way wherever you have called to use it in the body of your code. Okay, let's look at this example. We have three classes, class ABC, class DEF, and class sub, which inherits from classes ABC and DEF. So next we have a caller. So that creates an instance of our subclass. And then we do caller that my method and my method lives in class ABC. So superclass ABC and caller dot print me also lives in ABC. And when we do a caller with the special dunder method dict, we see that it prints out underscore ABC double underscore word. So it automatically appends or prepends ABC to our double underscore word object. And that prints out hello. And then we can do the same caller.myMethod2, caller still an instance of sub. So caller.myMethod2 now is pointed to the method2 in the def, def class. And then caller.printme2, same thing in def class. And when we again do caller dot underscore double underscore dick double underscore, we get not only the single underscore ABC double underscore word, and now we get the single underscore def, DEF, double underscore word. So again, it prepends the class name to the double underscore word mangled name that we gave it. Now look here, up at the top right hand corner, when I do a dir on caller, we see that it is retained there in that methods output, just as we printed it out. Single underscore ABC, double underscore word, single underscore DEF, double underscore word, along with our other methods down at the bottom here. So it works just as expected. Okay, folks, thanks for watching till the end. If this has helped you, consider helping me to continue to bring you and others this type of content. Helping is free and it's easy. First, subscribe to the Yogi Coder page. Second, like this video and leave any comments you feel moved to. And third, share this on any and all social media channels that you engage in. As always, this code will be stored up on GitHub and the link will be provided in the section below. Thanks and have a great day, guys.